Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. And I'm Jordan Norcus. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 11. Now to the first in the nation primary tonight in New Hampshire. There was added focus on this race because of problems with the vote count in Iowa's caucus last week. But now the Democratic presidential hopefuls are getting a better picture tonight of where they stand with voters. And the numbers are revealing a bit of a surprise there as well. From your local election headquarters, Jay Gray has been on the campaign trail for us and he has the latest from Manchester. As the votes are counted in New Hampshire, a clearer image of what's been a muddled field of Democratic presidential hopefuls is emerging. Bernie Sanders polling just ahead of Pete Buttigieg, the one two showing for the front runners here, no real surprise. But the surge for Amy Klobuchar jumping to third is the Minnesota senator parlaying a strong debate showing and tireless campaign schedule into some much needed momentum here. We have beaten the odds every step of the way. Well, behind the top three, Elizabeth Warren insisting the early setback is not the end of her run. The fight to save our democracy is an uphill battle. It's not the swan song for Joe Biden either, despite a disappointing finish in leaving New Hampshire for South Carolina even before the polls closed. Now where I come from, that's the opening bell, not the closing bell. And uh, the fight to end Donald Trump's presidency is just beginning, just beginning. This was the last stop for candidates Andrew Yang and Michael Bennett. The crowded field of Democratic hopefuls thinning just a bit as the pace of the campaign now intensifies with the bulk of the race still ahead. And to stay in that race with the pace picking up dramatically, the candidates will have to continue to build not only momentum, but campaign money. Jay Gray, NBC News, Manchester, New Hampshire. Now we have the latest on the New Hampshire primary up on our website. For the latest election news, head to MyTwinTiers.com, then click on your local election headquarters tab.